All right, guys, she's been running for more than 15 minutes at uh, 1500 RPMs. You can see the temperature is up midway. So she's good and warmed up. I'm going to leave it running and go, uh, go underneath the truck and see what we got. Stand. All right, guys, before I even go under the truck, I want to show you temperature of the ground here. 42 degrees. It's 42 degrees out here between 40 and 45. Okay, so let's get underneath here. Okay, we got two cats here. Okay, we're going to call cat one and cat two. Cat one. Let's see what we got here. In the front. Coming out. Going in, rather. Going into the cat. We got 296. It's maxing. 290. Wait, it's still going up. Let me hold it for a minute or two. I got 300, 305 close to it going in to the cat. Coming out of the cat. I got 271. Two, between 270 and 280. It's actually between 288 max. Coming out of the cat. 290. Coming out of the cat. Going to cat two. Going in. We got 330. Outside, got the uh, worst reading. So I'm going to cut that one. I'm going to cut it off. I'm going to cut the other one off one at a time. I'm going to see if it improves. And um, we'll take it like that. And we'll see how we go from there. I'm pretty damn near 100% sure I'm on the right track here. 
that the problem is exhaust um, blockage. And I keep going back to the original uh, thing that I diagnosed with it, which was obvious it was the cold weather. And I know from just from my wood stove, I know that uh, cold cold air is denser, heavier, and uh, harder to push. And um, so I had a catalytic converter in my wood stove when I first bought it. After two years, I had to take it out. So I was getting back puffing. These catalytic converters, uh, I think they could be more trouble than they are worth, especially on the older systems, where they're not very uh, very reliable, I don't believe. But at any rate, those muffins look like crap. I'm going to cut one out at a time, see where we go from there, and uh, then we'll see if I move on to the cats. But if I cut the, the mufflers out of my way, I might be able to um, clean the cats out instead of removing them uh, with a hammer and a poker. I can uh, poke the uh, ceramic out of there and suck it out with the, the shop vac and clean them out. I've done that before. So that's where I'm at. That's my my plan. And I will not be back for a while because i got a lot of work on my hands here. And it's freaking cold out here. All right, boys. I appreciate you watching and following all of this. I know it's been dragging on, dragging on. But damn, man. I hope to God this helps somebody in the future with the same problem. We'll see what happens. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Book them, Daniel.